Aban's mention of North Zealand technology in his records worried me. What if we are fighting for a doomed cause? Perhaps Uriah's influence has already caused permanent, irreversible damage on other worlds besides Erdia, and there's nothing we can do to stop the enemy now. The information previously gathered by Galas, Anlinde, and Malkeshar seems consistent with what we have just learned from Arga, which he most certainly learned from Uriah and her highest ranking demon lords. We are not alone. The sole thought that there is a world out there more technologically advanced than our own is overwhelming, to say the least. I wonder what kind of people live there, assuming they weren't exterminated by the legions of Inferno in the time that has passed since Argan encoded those records, that is. Are these Norsulans, a noble people, unveiling the mysteries of the universe for the good of all? Or wretched demons bent on destroying the creations of nature with their machines, like the ruler Inferno herself? Might they be aware that their knowledge has been subverted by this cruel demoness? Even though Uriah's forces no longer have a direct passageway between our world and theirs, as long as there are summoners on this side and Uriah's demon lords on the other, she will continue to hold our home in her grasp. But perhaps there is a way to weaken the Chaos Empire further. If killing the Chaos Emperor did not suffice, it might be because his direct subordinates still exist. The Iron Triad. But before we can even attempt to deal with them, we'll need to deal with another problem. According to Malkeshar, by means of that accursed journal. Argan abandoned Zothanar Isle after Yechnagoth was vanquished, but not before recovering the creature's heart. Although her soul was effectively destroyed, along with her provisional body, the source of power, her heart, wasn't directly connected to it, and Argan apparently ordered his minions to preserve it beneath the ruined plains of Wesmere. I presume that the biomechanical creatures we found in the caves there might be guarding it. With that great source of power still intact and on Erdia, our time is running out. We decided to return to the great continent as soon as we could to contact our allies and warn them about the imminent danger lying in the Shakstal Hive beneath Wesmere. We must not allow that power to be unleashed on the world again. I can only hope it isn't too late already. I wish I had mastered the power of teleportation that I obtained from the crystal so we wouldn't have to waste so many days on the great ocean. Unfortunately, my mind has been in perpetual unrest as of late, unable to focus on any advanced spellcasting. Attempting to travel such a great distance without having managed to do it first so much as teleporting across a room would be reckless. It is certainly unfortunate that you couldn't find a solution to this problem. Everything seems peaceful and good from our current location, but if your eyes win minions win the war and take over the continent, it will only be a matter of time until they come to claim this island. And what if Yetnagoth is able to control the surface creatures of the continent again? At least we know that her soul is no longer in this world. There's a faint possibility that they might be unable to use her heart for anything yet. We must make haste and instruct our allies to purge the remains of Wesmere. A few of our people have expressed interest in joining your group to help you in this quest and learn more about the state of the lands whence we came a couple of centuries ago. Hello, what want us to help our kin in this dark times? Our numbers are very small, and we don't have the resources to support an army, but we have the knowledge and the faith to try to make a difference on the battlefield. It would be an honour to fight alongside you, sir. Fight indeed. We have spent too much time far from home. Who knows what's become of it since we left? The honour is ours. We appreciate and accept your help on this day, but we are even more grateful for the day on which you released Erdia from the eternal nightmare of Yechnagoth's control. Young Galas, what you three have done for us is no small deed either. 
Although your journey is not quite complete yet, by defeating Uriah's designated sovereign of chaos, you proved that our forces are not invincible, and rekindled the flame of hope everyone needed. You truly are the heroes of the forest elf of this era. Thank you. Kiara is one of our most skilled archers, and she has expressed her desire to join you in your quest. Seeing as how you will need all of the help you can get, we thought you might welcome her support. I'm not! You can come with us if you wish, but you need to be aware of the dangers that lie in our way. I am aware. Already talked with Lord Gallus about it. I just want to be of help to our forest covens in this struggle for our future. Well, we must now prepare for departing tomorrow in the morning. A long voyage back home awaits us. Alright, that's the end of the cutscene. We finally bid farewell to the peaceful island. Once again, I was tempted by my heart to elude the call of duty and forget completely about the happenings on the great continent. It was the first time since I rejoined reality that I truly wanted to flee from it. Then again, that emotion is exactly what led Argan and me to abandon our guidance of the Elves after the war on Wesmere came to an end. We entered an armed conflict only to get involved in another one, with each of us on opposite sides. I wish I could go back to the old times and prevent that disaster that ruined our beautiful world forever. Life was much simpler when the only forces threatening the order of nature were common necromancers who could be easily dispatched by anyone capable of wielding a weapon. At some point we thought we knew everything about our place in the universe. Argan's appearance was the first event to challenge that vain pretension. Then Jangor came. Now this, what other revelations does the future hold for us? When will my mission to protect Erdia and the inhabitants of his forests be over? Not everything went according to our plans. A storm caught us by surprise and drove us off course. The ship barely withstood long enough to take us ashore, just in time to be greeted by the setting suns and a thick fog enveloping all. Stranded on an unknown land, we found ourselves before a foreboding forest at dusk. Episode 1, Scenario 8 Fear The fog is so thick I can barely see anything in the distance. It's rather unsettling. Indeed, we should explore this peninsula carefully and stay together. Maybe we can find an abandoned castle or village where we can rest until we plan our next course of action. The air is unusually dense. There's something more about this place I don't like. We may soon find out. <laughs> Alright. We've got five units. All five have to stay alive. So we've got a peninsula here. I could go and explore the fog, um, but the suggestions seem to be that my priority was to find some sort of castle. So I'll move to the full extent of Malkeshar's movement. That mighty, mighty move speed of his. Galas, you can end up in the forest. Poro, I think you want to go past. Alinea, you... You can go a little fast, because you're invisible. And then you go over here. Could have scouted south a bit. Let's see if anything comes to attack us. Not yet. We're still on the peninsula. And we can reach that village. Good. No scary enemies popping out or anything? No? Good. Keep it simple, stupid. You... You've got 50% defense everywhere. Yeah. 
and more vision than everyone else as well. But not enough more vision that I want you to run off, given that they said we should stay together. Okay. Oh, there we go. What kind of infernal spawn is that thing? Shark stars. We are definitely not alone here. We'll have to fight our way through this place then. Enemy sighted. Okay, we got 30 turns. And we got to defeat all enemy leaders. And there's going to be some fights against shark stars, which is just great. So far, I mean, I can only see the enemy. Um, hasn't summoned anyone yet, though he will, won't he? Tempting to try and lure you out with Kiara, but um, yeah, no, I will do that. Because if you're stupid enough to come out and attack, then you can get wasted on Malkesha. And Kiara won't take that much damage, even if she's poisoned. Yeah, there we go. We never see what this guy was planning to recruit, but uh, then again, that's no big loss. Elinia? Okay, not fantastic damage. I was hoping to get you down below 12 so that horror could one-shot you, but no such luck. Not bad. I would love to get Horror up to be a Warlord. Warlords are just amazing. Alright, and Gallus can actually reach the uh, the spot now. That's the ticket. Well, Kesha, you keep going. Visibility is poor, so I want to get some bats. How much money do I have? Tons. Tons of money. Okay, fantastic. Alright, one for the north, one for the south. That wise. Uh, then recruit some spam. If there are going to be drones around. So I've got a Quenoth Mystic. Now you, you heal. Ha ha! Need to, need to have you. Need to level you up because you'll be my secondary healer. Can I also recruit Quenoth Elves? No. I can recruit Orcs. Uh, might just have one or two. I mean, goblins really. Why would I, why would yeah? I guess if I need weak living troops, I'm just gonna go for orcish archers. Nice all round unit. Shame I can't have orcish assassins. They they're pretty cool. Okay, and I've still got a positive balance of money. You actually, you could run forward and grab that village. That would be probably better than... Well, I don't know. There might be that nasty flying enemy's head. You stay, you stay put. Well, now you go grab that. Uh, no, that's still, still, still. Let's wait till... let we'll see what the bat finds. Okay, yeah, there are nasty enemies, but they're not, they're not fast nasty enemies. So whoever captures this village, let's say a certain Malkay, can tank the protector drone damage. And I can fly you out in this direction. Alright, there we've got a razor bird. And this thing, a Chaos Cavalier, a level 2 mounted unit. Okay, so you can reach these to anyone sitting here and you can reach anyone the square ahead all right well I'll let you come out if you want and you can fight some orcish archers You guys go around here, down in the woods. You fly south, just in case there's anything to be spotted out to sea. 
There's going to be some villagers. Well, that's good. Maybe I bet there'll be um, there'll probably be some enemy that's out in the in the ocean as well. That's usually the way. Okay, you advance. You advance. And be careful because you can't. You shouldn't stay in range of the cavalier. You'll get uh, swatted. So you come back. And we're safe. Alright, so now I can cleverly recall this loyal Quenoff mystic. This doesn't seem like... I mean, this is a funny level, because it seems like I've explored a third of the map or so, and I haven't seen any enemies yet, but then I guess the big hordes are yet to come. Either way, there's going to be no harm in recruiting a few level 2 undead. And a few friends, such as Dark Sorcerers. You got a decent chunk of experience from your time in the caves, didn't you? If I'm going to be fighting drones, then a Fire Fairy is going to come in handy as well. Another Dark Sorceress, Yusung Yan. Or even Alolian, the Resilient Intelligent one. Resilient Intelligent, should I make you a Lich or should I make you a Necromancer? I could see advantages to both. Resilient Necromancer would be incredibly tanky. Resilient Lich would just be a Resilient Lich, which is always good. And let's have this level 1 Quenoth Fighter as well. Try not to lose you, you're loyal. Alright. Whoa! So you're going to come and stand right next to Malkeshar but not attack him? A weird flex. an extremely bad start for my loyal fighter. Can I get anyone else around the back of there? Um, not until I deal with this razor bird. Alright. Quite a lot of enemy units to be uh, dealing with here. Alright, Alinea. I think I need a bit of um, a bit of a helping hand. You're not dead yet either. Ooh. Bloody hell. Okay, I'm going to need more spam units because these uh, chaos units that are coming at me are relatively powerful. You just stand here. Yeah. All right. You're you're doing. You're already showing that. Uh, yeah. The the way of of true power is not the sword. Okay. You can reach whoever goes into those woods. So it better not be you, Kiara, because you can reach whoever goes into those woods as well. Be careful. Okay. I could send. I could send archers over that way. That's probably smart. Yeah, because then I can block the easiest route for the horseman. Uh, yeah, you could die to either of those attacks, so you really ought to hang fire, as they say. Galas can come out and take care of this guy, but only after he's recruited a few more units for me. I need to see what's that, what else is coming from this direction. Okay, there's another horseman there. And if I claim this village, then the horseman will see me. 
Jesus, what can I? So many horsemen! Man, why are you why are you hiring horsemen? Don't you know that Chaos Horsemen are one of their worst units? Now they suck against PS damage, so I'm glad I hired some archers, but I need I need more archers. I need skeleton archers for this job. Blade damage, yeah, I mean skeleton archers are gonna absolutely wreck these guys. Let's get Team Bone Shooter out there. These guys are actually, I, I say these guys are a bit lame, but they're really, they're really pretty nasty. Lots of hit points, lots of attack. Yeah, got everything going for them, really. Do want to kill this one. That was good. Okay, aside from running crazy interference with the... Well, if you go into the woods, you'll be very well defended. There is that. So you come round here. Still... still worried, worried that you might get shredded if you go into that forest. Oh well. Oh crap, <laughs> there goes the interference plan. Didn't think that would be enough to kill him in one hit. Guess I wasn't looking carefully enough. Okay, down you go. So only... All three of these visible units can now reach me. Get the other... Bone Shooter, and I'll get some rates as well for the arcane damage. I've got three level three units, I'm going to leave them all back at camp for now. You can see why, looking at these enemies, um, why there is some thought that I might in fact benefit from That's so weird, they're actually weaker in villages than they are everywhere else. I can't, I'm not going to move you yet, because I need you to come over here in case Galas fails to take out this protector drone. He doesn't? Okay, that's good. You need to stay where you are. Are you even healing? Oh, yeah, you're just rubbish, aren't you? If you come over here... Can... no, good. You're protected. That's good, because you need to survive. You also need to survive. That, if I leave you there, that will slightly protect my forest fairy. Okay. Okay, green actually does have a reasonable, uh... Ow! That really hurt! You just did 27 damage to Galas. That's 27, yeah. Can't take that many more times. Alright, good thing I've got Malkesha around here. That's a level 2 drone. 
Um, and they are steadfast, which is why they get extra resistance. But all steadfast does is double your resistances, and if it's arcane, well, it does, it does mean that Malkeshar's more powerful cold attack doesn't have the effect it might. You, my friends, need to kill someone who's level 1, and then you can level up. You, my friend, need to get some healing, because you just um, embarrassed yourself, quite frankly. Oh, you're tough. Oh, yeah, it's the resistance. Nah. Uh, in any case, Galas needs to come back to base. He can't uh, think about such frivolities as leveling up right now. So I'm going to need to use a Malkesh uh, or a Linear. And a Linear with 70% defense should probably take point. The 70% defense, it does nothing. Ooh. And Mal needs a ton of hits and will take... 30 damage is not successful. Okay. Go, my Orkish Archer friend. Do pathetic damage and get weakened so that level 1 units can kill you. All very well bringing out a bunch of powerful ranged units to play, but they do have to be able to get into combat. Well, that was good. Um, can you reach? Yeah! Okay, so maybe I could, give, I could feed you the kill if I could keep you safe afterwards, and I reckon I can. Except that you don't get the kill, of course. So I'll have to give that to Horro instead. Um, wait. No, I need more people over here. I'm going to need Kiara to come out and stop dicking around. And actually, probably attack this guy, because you're the only one of these folks who can do remotely respectable damage to the Cavalier. Alright, one down. And you're good on the sand because you're a desert elf, so that's nice. You'll still be in real trouble if if you don't hit. Oh. Get you out here. And now we suddenly things are looking very bleak on this northern front. I'm pushing forward too fast, that's what it is. I should have gone more slowly. This guy is so tough, it's because he's armoured and steadfast. Bonus resistances plus steadfast, that's a horrible trait for one of these guys to have. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, you've got no chance. No chance, mate. Okay, still got nine health left. If you get the kill, you should level. Alright, I've got myself my first spectre. And only one of you guys, plus the Razorbird, can reach Mal. Can I have you... Retreat. And you come and sit behind there. These units are all fairly far off, so if I were able to 
Looks like you're under control, but I'm, I'm mostly just worried about... You're a tad weaker when you're in the water, but not too much weaker. And I could block you with a bat. Okay, that started off well. You, if you get three hits, should get the kill. Oh, that started off well. Okay. Horro, can you do any better? Two hits? Really need two hits from Horro for this? Okay, I'll try. There we go. And now you're nearly at a level. You're not. Okay, gonna stick you there and block so that the uh, Dark Adept doesn't die. And now I need skeleton, now I need archers. In fact, I just need anything, really. Um, if I can withstand this first advance, I probably won't need much more. So actually, I think it's best, because I need to push forward fast, I need to get some ghosts. Or maybe, maybe some more ghost recalls. A shadow for this flank, a wraith, and then a normal ghost, so I have something to throw away. Wow, this money that I had is uh, not going to go much further, is it? Okay, I think that's as, as far as I can reasonably recruit at the moment. And you need to come up here. Can I do one better than that? Can I? No. Protector Linear. Even though it means you can get attacked twice, that's fine. Alright, you. You can still range that house, you can range that house. So let's see what's over here. It doesn't seem like there is an undead. It doesn't seem like there is a, a boss that's out to sea, unless it. Oh, it could come from all the way down here, in which case it will be very slow and very inexorable. I guess that's what that will be the next thing to scout once I figure out what's up here. It seems like the blue and the green leaders are up here though. They can't be much further and they can't have that much more money, surely. I mean they're not actually <laughs> they're not playing well, they're not sending good units at me, I'm just pressing forward too fast. Ah, rubbish. The blue can't achieve much. You're just gonna poison all of my orcish archers. Kill this one. Didn't manage to poison my dark sorcerer. Well, Keshar gets a whooping. My new Spectre gets a whooping. Wow, that's a lot of drones. It's a shame that it's daytime, because I think I'm going to need to pull back. I can't fight this. Not with these guys. At least not without taking very heavy losses at this point. Yeah, all right, fall back to the base.
Maybe I can hold on this position. If I put someone there with a decent ranged attack. Everyone will have to attack me across the swamp. Maybe a... Yeah. The bone shooter with the least experience can do that. Everyone else get well back. You can't even go very far. Maybe you should just be a sacrificial lamb. <laughs> the units at the front aren't particularly good in forests, and I think I can probably take advantage of that. I don't think it benefits drones in any way to be in forests. Okay, so these front three are the ones who can reach. They can all reach Kiara, which I find worrying, so I'm going to bring her back. Get her some healing from her little mate. Stick a ghost out on the rim. It's not like I'm giving up on huge amounts of income. All I've got is this one village and this other one that I've sworn to protect. person I'm most worried about is Malkeshar. And even him I'm not worried too much about. Okay, what do I want down here? Something dispensable that's not going to cost me much money. Either walking corpses or goblin spearmen. I think the goblin spearmen are just a bit better to be honest. Uh, the, the walking corpse mechanic is virtually pointless against drones. I mean, it is pointless. Shame about all that money. How did I, did I really just spend like 400 money and I've got an army that can't even defeat these stupid drones? That's, that's tragic. Okay, well, I'll see if that can do anything for me. What about you? You were going to go and scout. Um, little way down here. Okay, you can see the edge of the map. Now go south. All right, there's a there's an island there with a boss tile on it. Tell me more. Here was an appropriate name for this scenario. It was pretty scary. Probably worth it to cause those guys to waste their time attacking there. And the drones are all kind of not being hugely aggressive, piling up, waiting to attack. I guess. Maybe they're waiting for my money to run out, which it will. Okay, I can mop up this flank and everyone else has gone around to the other one, so mopping, I guess, is the order of the day. was pretty weak. Come on, Alinea, you at least should be doing better than that. Am I going to waste you on one of these guys who's so weak? Can you kill him? No. Can you kill him? Not really. Okay, maybe I should be um, quote-unquote wasting you. Okay, Alinea is almost at another level. Is 
This is tempting. The Malkashar is so weakened. But he can come around here. Right, and he gets the kill. The Spectre can... Ah, Spectre's very weak at this time of day. Still. created a lovely opportunity for someone to get the kill, but no one can because we have to take down this bird first. You're not really the right person for the task. What resistances do you have? Okay, you're weak to fire. Well, my only unit that has fire has already taken her turn. You're not super strong against getting stabbed. expect you to get the kill. Well, that's well done of you, and now Galas should be able to come out. Should I recruit anyone else? I'll have another goblin. Just for good measure. They're kind of hopeless, but they do, they are, they are useful for distraction. Alright, so Galas levels up. I can give him blade and pierce resistance to better armor. I can give him Hunter 2 with an extra bolus strike. Uh, that's also pretty good. Ambush is fairly pointless for Galas, I think. Uh, melee damage plus 1 is good, but it's underpowered compared to the rest of this stuff. So, armor or Hunter? I'm going to go for the armor, because I want him to be able to take a few hits. A few more than he currently is. It is still the case that some of these horse guys could come and make my life difficult. Only the horse guys can reach this house, which means that I can safely go and grab it with Naron, and only one of them get in to fight him. I I don't have leadership, because this goblin could we do with standing there. Um, I'll put you there, and I'll bring you out to the front lines. Okay, so that's that flank cleared up. How's my bat doing? Yeah, there's this weird castle out here. Probably something's going to happen here, he says, <laughs> wisely. Um, someone who is annoying and will summon flying units and then fly away or something. I don't know. But okay, I've got a pretty solid defensive line on this side. Don't think there's much that can make my life too difficult. Just move you forward one. Are you the more, you're the slightly more experienced one, so you go in front. Okay, good. Yeah, this this looks all right. And if I need more troops, then I can recruit one or two next turn. Not more. At least the assault should be fairly localized, I think. Uh. Okay, well, oh yeah, this 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 player doesn't have many options because this player doesn't have many good units, and it's the daytime when his units are weak. That's more the kind of play I was expecting. Ah, yeah, see, poisoning my living units. And 
the sun starts to set. You're very close to a level. If you can kill this guy, and you only need one hit for that, that would be awesome. And then you'll be a warlord. You'll grow up big and strong. There we go. And because you're loyal, that doesn't even cost me any money. Easy peasy. You're gonna struggle if more people start hitting you. So is Mal, but... Still slightly reluctant to send Mal out in the front. Maybe I should just try and just just we work this flank round a bit. Not that I have much advantage in fighting when it's not the night time. dead then. Given that it is dusk, I could put my Fire Fairy there. Um, she is poisonable though, I have to remember that she's not a forest spirit. You come back to my healing camp. I'm going to do, do this for another turn or two before... Yeah, no, you don't go there, that's very bad. You could go there, um, you would take energy damage in, in range, I mean you'd get, you'd get battered down if you did that. You... Okay, that could have gone better, that could have gone a lot worse, so that's fine. Over here it's probably best everyone stays where they are, although I might have Naron run backwards. I could put Malkeshar on this house. Seems foolish because a lot of drones will suicide on him. On the plus side, a lot of drones will suicide on him. And no one else is going to get within range, apart from possibly this horseman. And, I, you know, to be honest, that would only do him good, because it would heal him up. So, yeah. If you guys... Re if you, specifically, really want to attack Naron, you can. And Malkeshar, in the meantime, can go on the front lines. Okay, that's, that's four drones. Five drones. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't so wise. Guess we'll find out. You finally keep exploring this unexplored territory. There's going to be nothing but open sea down here, but I do want to have a full map exploration. Alright, there we go. Now I can start heading back next turn. Why scout the enemy leaders when you could scout random bits of sea with nothing in them? Wow. Ok, 
Okay, my, um... You guys on the front lines, Bone Shooter's not doing too badly, really, given that you're incredibly weak to, against, uh, against this kind of damage. No one decided to go for Malkeshar, which is, uh, a big shock. So, hopefully, should I this turn start pushing the flank? Probably not, because the blue units are starting to get wise to my shenanigans. What I should do is just stay here, try and kill as many units as I can. I can extend this line with a ghost if I want to fight that guy. Here though... Well, that was 75% 70 chance to hit, but... There we go, that's more like it. These horsemen, they're so powerful. Why did I... You know what I did? My mistake was slagging them off earlier on. I shouldn't have slagged them off. Okay, I'm gonna just... Uh... Yeah, that's that's what warlords are for. And you can come all the way out here. Okay, there's another horseman there, that's fine. And the bird is a goner. Are there, are there more enemies coming in from behind? Well, like, there can't be enough of them to keep up this ridiculous swarm. Um, anyone going to level imminently? You are. I could level you by having you fight this guy. I could level, I could get someone weaker to get some experience. Someone who maybe shouldn't be on the front lines, like you. Because if you start taking pierce damage, you are going to get well and truly owned. Yeah. <clears throat> Sadly, my oh, I moved you down to be next to Alinea, and then I moved Alinea away. Lover George, clever. Is that a forest tile? If it is, I can bring out my fire fairy, even though it's night time. Or I could put Alinea on it. That's probably best. Hold this uh, this flank with ludicrously tough units. Um. You're a bit tougher than Digwinning, and you have less experience, so you definitely shouldn't be fronting this fight. Perfect. Oh, also perfect. You run away. Oh, that's not. That's not, in fact. Beware, beware. That's a not, in fact, a well-protected tile at all. Uh, so that so not so unwell protected that I'm tempted to put Malkeshar on it on 40% defense. Um, but I think there are enough units here to make his life really miserable if I do that. Even these bowmen could uh, take a chunk out of him. So I should really just push, put someone here who I don't value too much, maybe a goblin. And as for you... Uh... <laughs> You go and stand next to Alinea, you go and, well, can anyone reach all the way around? No, it doesn't look like it, so I can safely put you there, can put you back here. This ghost also move out this, with this shadow, put you back there. Um, ghost in the middle of the lines, or goblin in the middle of the lines. Goblin will literally only serve to get killed. The ghost might survive. I'm gonna put the ghost there. It's not an easy place to get to, after all. And now this incredibly long defensive line might start to crumble. But if it does, the enemy numbers should be crumbling too. Okay, bat. Hmm. 
Nope, getting there, getting there. Down here it's looking a bit ropey, so I'm going to bring my shadow down this way. Uh, maybe you just come a little bit this way as well. Oh, down goes the goblin. Ah, damn it. Three hits on 50%. Always a possibility, but that was an unlucky one. Okay. Oh, he's with the poisoning. Okay, the short dark is over and I can start to clean out the crap. Seventy percent defense. What did I say about seventy percent defense? Um, and and oh, you got two hits. Yeah, congrats, Elinia. You are no three hits. Let's let's be fair. Hang on, how much damage does she do? Doesn't matter. Anyway, not much damage is the crucial point. Um, she rather um, damned herself with not damned herself with faint praise. I I can't get anything right today. Um, can you get out to shoot? No, you can't. That's a shame. Well, I'll focus on what's going on inside my lines, next to my lines, before I worry about anything else. No kill, but can remedy that. Or do I want to use you for someone stronger? Not particularly. There we go, and we've got ourselves a Night Gaunt. You now. I don't, I'm not, still not quite sure I want to do that, so I'll try and kill you first. Yep, that went well. Kill you. Try and kill you with the with horror. No dice. The drones have got a case of the uh, hit all the times again. My units have got a case of the hit never. <sighs> I really want to be uh, rounding up the outside of this line, finishing it off. The goblins are too weak and slow. Maybe this wraith can do something. Once one of the goblins has eliminated this drone. <laughs> there we go, that was a nice above, above average combat round. No, you, you're in the water, so you're pathetically easy to hit. So Gallus can deal with you. And now I just need to make sure I don't fall apart at the last hurdle. I don't... My, one, one hurdle is... The uh, ideal situation would be to not lose my spectre. I don't think I should to one horseman, but you never know. All right, let's keep this going. Let's keep up momentum. Some more jamminess. Good 
good. Too valuable to risk stupidly like that. And you're not fast enough. You're not valuable though, so you can go around here. Still too many units here for me to be comfortable. Gonna have to just stick Malkeshar out there and hope for the best. Well that was... what's the best if not Malkeshar? You go here, no one can reach you. Well they can't yet anyway, maybe they will once. Again, do some goblin luring. Hopefully one of you guys will be stupid enough to kill a goblin rather than someone who's actually useful. And you go and get a smidge more health. You could come and fight. Where would you go? A bit worried about you if you if you choose to fight. You're too valuable to me. But then again, you'll die if you move. So you should just stand there and take what comes. And you should come around here to get into a better position for next turn. All right, let's let's see. And the bat. I'm gonna rather tediously explore all the way to this bottom corner, given that I'm such a completionist, I might as well be a complete completionist. Alright. Keep going. Okay, they've gone for my weak killable unit so far. Down. No, oh, didn't didn't anticipate that. Where do you come from? Quality of light seems to be really weird on this map. I don't know if it's just me. No, we can't do that. You've been healed to full, so now you've been uh, bolstered with confidence, which is not entirely unjustified. Well done, well done, mate. Hmm. All right, let's bring it in. Starting on this side. Fantastic. That's vintage Mal. Daytime Fire Fairy is always good value. And 10 times 4 bow attack. Beautiful. Alright, you're almost as level as well. I'm going to get Gallus out, and I'm going to put Delinea on that house, and hopefully she will then get 4 out of 5 hits. Nope! Well, she gets healing anyway. And now... Oh. 
good little kill for my mystic who needs one and a half more of those for the level and now everyone else can head south horror is taking 30 damage but horror doesn't care horror is just a beast <laughs> i was like well, let's use the attack that does more damage, but uh, it doesn't really matter in the end, does it? Okay, that wasn't brilliant either. Oh yeah, these guys are tanky as all hell. Let's get some pointy damage. Still not great. Yeah, I can't actually kill these guys. Not with the units that I've got around. Could put you in a very risky position in order to try and... I mean, you don't take much damage from these guys at the best of times. Especially during the day, which is not the best of times. You should be fine. Alright, good, you're dead. Lovely. Lovely stuff. One that lit. And. And we've got a 99 experience point Wraith. And you, my friend, should stay where you are and heal 10 hit points. Uh, you go back up here. Don't really care what... Uh, I don't want you to... I'd rather you didn't attack... Yeah, okay, so you don't do that. You go there. You'll protect the Spectre. And this Goblin... Can do what it likes. It's managed to this 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 goblin has either got a kill or, or got a lot of non-kill experience, so it's obviously a very tanky little dude. He's slow. <laughs> I love that the way the goblins in in Wesnoth get negative traits. Minus one moves, but they do get plus five percent hit points, which is handy. Alright, bat time. Alright, next turn, next turn you'll be on the way back. And I only have to fend off a stupid bird. Curse you, digging into my income like that. Okay, so turn 14 and the big push outwards begins now that I can fend these guys off. Rubbish. Anyone better at getting these kills? Um, I should send my wraiths up this way because they want to be able to fight drones and the, the enemies come from this side of Chaos Warrior types. So my undead should go this way. That will make some difference on how I choose to play this. Hopeless. Also hopeless. What about you? Okay, that was a huge amount of damage dealt by one stupid level 1 unit. Losers. Put my uh, Spectre over here. Um, even though you're ultimately going to go the other way. You come this way. You come this way. You go that way. Oh, there's another bird up here, isn't there? Yes. Okay, well. You know who can deal with birds.
you want to go this way and try and heal up my useless undead, you'll get less chance of getting poisoned if you do that. And Elenia has heal trees that she can heal in. You come up here with the... because you do fire, so you'll be good against drones. And... are these undead enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... What am I saying? Malkeshars with them, of course they'll be enough. And then this guy can come and join them if they're not. There's probably only a leader sitting pretty on his castle anyway. Any sign of a leader down here? Doesn't seem like it. Whew, that was a nasty onslaught to have fought off. Usually what happens now is I get really cocky and rush my units forward. A oh, little nub of a map that hasn't been explored. Okay, Galas can actually run that far. I want to scout a bit first. Okay, there's another bowman up there. Don't want to do anything too grotesquely confident, but I think Galas can take off that without too much difficulty. And first of all, I'm going to soften him up. Soften him up with Oro. <laughs> Not very soft. No kill. Okay, and the rest of these guys are slow. So I could come in here and attack. Doesn't seem like these guys are going to do much damage to me if I do that. Still no kill. Unbelievable. And I'll try that again next turn, I guess, and, uh, yeah. Still don't know where the blue leader actually is. You gather around the healer. You progress. You can go back to this house. Oh, there's a house over here! Okay, well the back can aim for that. And the undead can press north, and maybe along with this one goblin. Alright, there's a drone. This, this drone is just going to sit there. I can try and lure it with someone. Alright, see if it takes the bait. Alright, up here we've got a... Oh no! Okay, there's a sentry drone up there. That's bad, because I've got my loyal fighter here. Sentry drones are awful, awful units. Don't think it can kill my fighter in one hit. What resistance has he got? No, probably not, but still. in case there's anyone else back here now only one person can get in on my Quinoth fighter. So you come up here. You could be attacked as well, that's fine. If you get poisoned it would be annoying. There's more of the north of this map than I thought there was. He says dopely. What's this goblin going to do? Um, well, it's not going to help out against drones. And the 
that's already moved. Okay. Okay, they're going to try and double team the Wraith. There better be not be anyone else back there. Okay, so now the bat can safely head towards this one remaining village, which is going to take four turns to get to. Yes, that was a farting noise. I didn't fart, I made a farting noise with my mouth. I'm a civilized human being. Bonk. All right, you're nearly at a level, that's cool. You need to be melee attacked. Yes, you do. And now someone can get the kill. Probably someone loyal is the best bet. Like you. Oh, okay, there's some. There's the enemy uh, defenses. There's some Chaos Invaders, a Crossbowman, a Doom Guard. Okay, they didn't leave themselves completely undefended when they ran away. And another Crossbowman. All right, there is a defense back in place here. And right, you're now on 76. Okay. People who need healing, advance. Hehe, <laughs> well, that's not, that's not going to do much damage, actually. Probably better sending in Malkeshar to do the job and taking the damage in return. And that's left me with some nice experience to grant someone. Probably my weakened Wraith. Uh, if you take two hits, you'll die. I don't want to lose a Wraith with 81 hit points, 81 experience that easily. Uh, oh yes, you. Useless, useless. Useless, useless. There we go, that's what I should have done in the first place to be honest. Um, okay, shielding, thorns, none of these are hugely exciting to me, so I guess the strength one, because it will make her a bit hard to kill. These birds have a terribly long range. If I leave anyone weak around, they will get sniped. I just hope there aren't any more annoying sentry drones up here waiting to pop out. I can scout that in a second, once I've got rid of this guy. And by get rid of, I mean attack pointlessly for only one tranche of damage, apparently. Okay, there is a sentry drone, and it can attack Malkeshar. <laughs> Good news, guys. Oh dear, oh dear. <clears throat> so, I think the only thing I can realistically do here is to... Oh, that's the boss drone, and the boss drone can now come and range my knight gone. Uh, oh god, two sentry drones can now range Malkesha. See, this is the thing. Like, like I don't really know what <laughs> what can be done. <laughs> Maybe you stay there and attack, because you will actually block Malkesha from taking one of those attacks. Uh, but I'll probably lose my knight gaunt. Um Now you need to get the kill. Uh, 
Why did I say that? Why do I say anything? This is this is very bad. Okay, I'm gonna lose a drone. I might lose my night gaunt as well. This whole squad is actually in serious jeopardy here. Um, just because I've had some abysmal, abysmal luck on this corner. Let's look at the uh, statistics. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, minus 18% versus plus 38%. That's not 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 what you want. Oh dear. All right. Well, bye-bye experienced Ray. Bye-bye Night Gaunt. Um it was nice knowing you. Might lose someone else too. Might even lose Malkeshar if I'm really unlucky. No, I don't think I can. But could be close. Bat. Did I move the other? But the bat is on autopilot. Alright, blue player, I don't give a crap what you do. What I care about is what you do, green player. And what you're going to do is obviously that, followed by that, followed by this, and yeah. Melee attack. Okay, well I guess I took my eye off the prize, and I'm probably going to lose my heroes up here. Because I don't see any way of taking down these guys. At night, with Malkishar heavily weakened. I could try and run interference with the goblin. You're not fast enough to even get in on the fight this turn. And I can't... yeah, this is this is it, it's over. Even if I keep Malkeshar alive, it doesn't look good for anyone else. Where do I want you to go? I want you to go here so that you can attack this guy. And that means you'll probably die. Well, maybe you can attack someone else. Because I need you to kill this. And I need you yeah but you can't kill it you can just hurt it Malkeshar can help with that now you can kill it that's for sure to slow you so that you don't kill Malkeshar. Nothing you can, and I'm just going to hope that the drone leader fucks off back to his base. This is not a gap they can go through, that's fine. That was better, but I'm still not confident over here. I'll almost certainly lose... I think probably the obvious choice would be to go for Naron, and then I'll lose my Kunoth fighter, who's loyal. That would be a shame. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Over here, at least, there aren't so many fast units. Um... This is, this is actually tricky, because the Hell Guardian is quicker than he looks, and these guys can all pretty much reach that house. I guess I'm just going to advance and let them see if they want to come and uh, take themselves out against my unstoppable wall of brutality. You can do 30, what, 33 damage. Okay, so I don't really want Kiara to be on the front lines then. Not Kiara. 
Little girl, what's your name? Little girl? You'll probably be the most tempting target for this Chaos Warrior, won't you? Well, these two will come out and everyone else will stay at home, and that's fine. Still on negative gold. Could remedy that if anyone survives up here next turn. If they really, really kick some ass, then they could get through and kill Malkeshar, but... What would the... How could they do that? If they killed the Fire Fairy and then pushed forwards with this drone, if the leader killed the Fire Fairy and this drone... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Catastrophizing, but you know, sometimes it's useful to be prepared for the worst. Alright, blue's scared of me. The green leader does indeed fuck off. I'm here. Ah, oh, you survived. Oh, wow. What oh, a legend. The skulls will sing of this day. Now, how am I going to defeat you? First, I need to worry about the... Well, I need to worry about everything. This fr this flank is a complete clusterfuck now. I um, need to start off by using a linear to kill this drone, I think, or using the spectres. Um, you stand there and get some health. Um, Should have slowed him. Should have slowed him. That's a lot of damage for a spectre to take. That probably means that this spectre is going to end up getting killed by the war drone next turn. Because this guy has, I mean, all the damage. Maybe a, maybe a, a goblin would di would distract him, but then no, because these drones are fast. That was a fairly crappy performance from you as well. Um, you, you could reach her, don't want that to happen, so I'm going to put you there. And now you get behind a linear. And now if the war drone wants to come out and attack my spectres, it can. This one's quick, that one's slow. This can't get anywhere fast. You can come up and join the fight, because it might be useful to have someone to distract. Ah, oh, I thought this push was going to go faster now, I really did. Unfortunately, that one turn where I got completely... Uh, what's the word? Um... The Will Smith song. Gotta break out before you get bum rushed. I just got bum rushed. Bum rushed by drones. Oh, way to go. You could get killed if you miss. That also was not... I just realised what I did too late. I could have taken well over half his hit points in damage as well. Alright, I can't believe I haven't lost a game. <laughs> Maybe I'll still pull this off. Who knows? Um, now, do I trust myself to just run out here with Horro and stick him onto the house? I think... I mean, he ought to be able to take on a Doom Guard. These are, these are ranged units, which does scare me a little bit. But they can't all reach. Carefully and cautiously. Maybe I should have teamed up everyone at once and gone for one leader at a time. 
because this doesn't seem like an efficient strategy now, and I'm not going to end with a good turn limit. So that's some defensive play there from the drones. I must have placed my units well. I want to get out of the war drones range, take out these guys, and then get back in there. Maybe I should lure them using the goblin, cruel as it may sound. Alinea, you go into the woods because I want you to get some health. Can you then block everyone? Well, you can if you've got spectres next to you. And, and you can't... Oh, you can! You can reach a linear in the woods. Interesting. Well, I don't have any other option other than putting her there. And she does have 70% defense, so of all of the places she could be, that's but far from the worst. You're wounded. You're wounded, and you need to stay put. Oh. like this I'll try it and oh no okay something went weirdly wrong there oh well okay bigger fish to fry on this flank um, melee people attack the ranged people ranged people attack the melee people you can <coughs> You can be a beast, which is what these people are supposed to do. You get the kill, and you definitely want to be a healer. Kind of shame. It's a shame because the Sun Singer is one of the most beautiful, fantastic-looking units that there is. Um, but I definitely want someone who can heal properly. That's going to be my priority in having someone to go around with a linear. Not about that, at least. Most of you can't reach. You can reach, you can reach. Skeleton Archer, Normal Archer. Skeleton Archer, Normal Archer. It's not even... Okay, there's the blue leader. Can't range any of my units yet. Alright, you didn't get too battered, so you can come front line. You can come... Hopefully I can kill this horse. Is that real? Did I... Am I not getting leadership from somewhere? No, I guess not. You've got the disengage ability. Interesting. If you don't move before attacking, you will retain your movement points after the attack. That's handy to remember. Alright, good job. You go and... Oh, not quite, not quite one turn. Now I need to defend the honour of my lady. Uh, that could involve getting attacked by the leader, but the leader's only a magus, and I can hopefully slow him if he tries that on me. What I think you'll do is go around and try and shield bash one of these guys. And you'll just. You can only attack Galas, so you only got one choice. So you go there. You come up here. And this flank is looking good. I'm much, much more worried in the north by this stupid war drone, which is an absolute beast. Um, okay. Oh, I was 100% right about that. Okay, they poison our linear and sneaky. Going in for a pincer's movement there, are you? 
Oh, there's one little blib of land that I can't see. And you've recruited a razor bird. How very dare you. Um, going to continue recruiting with... Going to continue retreating with everyone except... Maybe the spectres. Quick one is dead, and that's good news. If you go there, then I think we're mostly safe on this flank, and my goblin friends can hide in the bushes. And Alinea can regain health, Malkeshar can regain health. I'm going to need that to push forward. This is this is a very failed push up here. Let's look at the statistics. Losses. Lost a Night Gorn. That's the first time I've lost a really high unit, high level unit. And this Wraith who had 80 experience and was very close to leveling. Those are not losses that I'm happy with. Not even remotely. On the plus side, I guess my gold balance isn't as terrible as it could be. Alright, now it's time to take out this Doom Guard. <laughs> And advance on the leader. No. Yes. Okay, and now... Very nice, you get the kill and you're unslowed. Still a few units over here. Um, would rather let you come out and fight me. Uh, maybe if I put this bone shooter out, I can lure the enemy leader, or at the very least, this crossbowman. Well, if you really want to, you can even come and attack my shaman, but I do not recommend it because it will be bad for your health. Um, or this warlord, Horo, who has to survive. 68 hit points, I think he's mostly going to be fine. Whatever hits him. And the same, honestly, is true for Kiara. Because she's close to a level now. She does need the health, but... Gallus, you stay where you are for now. And we can push when the time comes. Okay, so it seems nothing is, is able to get this guy out of his base. I didn't think you were in range to do that. Mm. Well, you are on, are on full health. Um, you ought to feel confident to take this guy out if you get lucky. But that would entail you getting lucky. Okay, lesson learned. Quite in range of the war drone. You stay where you are. You advance. And then over here, I think we're ready to go. So you come and try and shoot this invader. Pretty good. Yoink! Gotcha. Seems like this crossbowman isn't going to do anything, so I 
I guess I can just trap it in with bone shooters. Or just kill it, that works too. Perfect. Now, Horo, Galas, and Kiara all have unrestricted access to this not particularly strong Chaos Magus. And with it being nighttime, or dawn rather, the opposite of nighttime, but not the daylight, that's the crucial thing. Uh, I can attack. Bola, sword, or bow. Um, let's just send Kiora. Let's just send Horo in and see how well he does. Okay, that was a fairly poor showing from everyone involved. Um, he's going to run away onto a keep next turn. So... Can he kill Della? I don't think so. So I can put her there to cure these guys. And down here... And you... If you range him, you won't die, but you might do if you get hit by the thing, so... I'm just going to put you here. No, no uh, AI leader that I know is quite foolish or reckless enough to uh, to attack, to jump down there and attack and get himself surrounded in a situation like this. I think it's unlikely, but it could happen. Oh, ah, well, okay, got himself surrounded. Um, thought it was worth... desperate to kill my loyal fighter, and seems like against all the odds, he might actually level up. Speaking of levels... We got ourselves either a Dryad or a Forest Spirit, and again, um, I'm just going to go for the Forest Spirit because it's... I don't really want to say objectively the better unit, but I mean, it's faster, it's harder to kill, um... It's got better movement um, across difficult terrains. It's got Sylvan Spark, which means it can't be poisoned. Um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> no comparison. And that gives me something I can actually kill this fucking drone with. Get your house. Um, the bird can't range you. You stay where you are. And you two, one more turn of sticking around. And maybe we've got it. And over here we've definitely got it. And in fact the main question is, first of all the question is, what is in that small dark spot over there? And the, question, the answer is nothing. So then we go up here. And now... Digwinnik will level if he fights the Magus. Not sure I want that to happen actually. So I'm gonna... Nice. Galas, you want to do the honours? Okay, one leader down. And now I've got units who are frankly not great at fighting drones, and their job is to fight a drone. So... What does the Daze ability do again? Okay, when you're hit with a daze attack, you have a penalty to defense and a chance to hit for one turn. Okay, well that's cool. You are now dazed. Are we sure that daze worked?
Nice. Okay, now let's go and get some houses. And head in the direction of the drone leader. One more village over here to grab, maybe with the bats. Okay, in you go, Alinea. Everybody form up! You can see the boss man. And most importantly, he's blocked from attacking my little kind of fighter over here. Okay, Pert, time to show us what you're made of. You want to try your luck against my Dark Sorcerer? That would be amusing. You do have War Blades. You could do 55 damage. Bring it if you like. Give me experience. gonna hope I'm not saying I expect this will be over soon but I'm just hoping it'll be over soon because I don't want to have to fight more flipping sentry drones oh my goblin lives and the leader doesn't even come out of his shell interesting okay nice volcano top of the map We're getting closer. Oh, well that almost makes up for your crappy performance last turn. You go and be invisible in the forest. Are you going to try and... I mean, you could... You've got a ranged impact attack that's quite nasty. You could suicide yourself onto Malkeshar. We don't want that. So I'm going to put the goblin over here. And the forest spirit here. And just hope there aren't any more flipping assholes hiding in the background. I know asshole is not the technical term for that unit. I was just looking at someone on the forum talking about... Oh, there's, yeah, there's an asshole hiding in the background. Yeah, okay. Just looking at someone on the forum talking about how annoying war drones were, and they are indeed, I can confirm, an incredibly irritating unit. Fortunately, I think at this point it doesn't really matter all that much. I don't think I can really take enough damage for it to be a problem. At least not with all these units here. Let's 
surely the writing's got to be on the wall, even if there is another sentry drone in the background, which there probably is, knowing my luck. Okay, this is futile. And I've got myself either a Lich or a Necromancer. I think the Lich option, Resilient plus Lich, is, is nice. Um, but, I mean, the only danger is the Lich gets immediately battered down by the War Drone. But I'm going to take that chance. Or am I? I'm going to have a Necromancer instead. Resilient Quick Necromancer is also not bad. Last time, the main problem with my Necromancer was that she wasn't quick. And this one is. So, alright, you can be a necromancer. Okay, and the AI doesn't actually do anything else. Okay, so first job, I want to get this guy out of the way. Ideally use units that can't even reach the boss man. Like Gallus. Do some slowing. Fantastic. Just what I was after. And now... Perfect. Kiara... Do I have anyone who could slow? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, I've got you, but you're not, you're not fast enough. Okay. So I'll just have to go in and uh, hope for the best. You will level, so I don't need to worry about the damage to you. Wow, that's a big unit. Quenoth Marksman riding this kind of goat thing. Um, yeah, nice Marksman attack. Ah, uh, Linear can slow. And that's probably the answer to this dilemma, isn't it? Only one hit needed to slow. There it is. All right, piece of piss. Now I just need to uh, reel it on in. Now is something weird going to happen with that island down south? I bet it is. Uh, who needs the kill of these units, Malkeshar? Really. Yes! We did it! Let's leave this land as quickly as possible! Galas? Elinia? Okay, 64 bonus gold. A mysterious ending in which Galas and Alinea disappear. And we'll see where this takes us next. Yep, um, statistically, um, overall, everything's pretty much balanced as usual, but uh, all it takes is one terrible turn and you can have some uh, pretty catastrophic losses. So it's not a surprise I lost the Ghost, the Goblin Spear, and the Orcish Archer, the Vampire Bat, but this Night Gaunt and this Wraith, that hurt. Um, still lots of experience, lots of levels there, and I've got a lot, a good level 3 army going forward. So, join me next time for Scenario 9, whatever it be. Please leave a like, please leave a comment, please leave a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.